Hello, this is Yanis from Unirepair. Today we will go through a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 uh, 15IL05 that uh, came to our lab with a locked BIOS. Now, let's go and see how we'll reset this BIOS password. This is uh, the notebook. Uh, it's a new one. Never used. Uh, BIOS locked by its user and the first uh, initialization you can see powering on and asking for a password system password power off power on again and the same password is uh, needed to continue so let's uh, disassemble the bottom cover and check uh, if we can uh, solve this uh, case and uh, how we will do this. We will go quickly and remove uh, the bottom cover. Okay, we are in a very multiplied speed. We're removing the screws. We're protecting the screen cover by this plastic uh, frame. And now it's time to remove the bottom cover and reveal what it is uh, beneath it. This is the BIOS chip, this is the RAM stick, it's not needed. We will remove the battery. Of course, the battery input and uh, this is the time under the microscope to remove uh, this bias chip we will use our hot air and tweezer the bias chip must uh, must be read in order to determine where is the bias password after the BIOS chip removal, we will place uh, this uh, BIOS chip in, a, in our programmer, on our programmer, in order to read it. Okay, this is the time to read the BIOS chip. As soon as uh, it is uh, okay. The verification is okay. We will store this uh, backup, this BIOS uh, bin file backup from the IdeaPad, and check it with our hex editor and another tool. Okay, we will save it. We will make a folder. And we will store it uh, inside this folder in order to be found easier. And save. And we are good. We will use a tool, the UEFI tool, to read this BIOS. We will use it in order to check uh, the padding where the BIOS is starting. You will understand. We will drop. Uh, the BIOS, uh, drag and drop the BIOS file uh, on this uh, program. It is analyzing it. We can see it is an Intel image. So we have a Emir region and BIOS. The first padding is uh, the padding we need. 
and in, it is uh, saying it informing us that has uh, 600,000 it start it's uh, it's starting from 600,000 so the bios password will be in this uh, padding in this region of the bios between some f's a lot of f's it's hidden in uh, a vast number of f's usually not always not for all the models for these idea pads uh, is working and you can see we are having these characters hidden uh, inside a large number of f's and you can see that it is having 27,000. The offset is 27,000. And the start of the padding is uh, 660, 600,000. I'm sorry. So we will check with our hex editor. We can always check uh, for F's, a lot of F's, uh, in order to to see where this uh, pattern is uh, present. But uh, the easier thing to do is uh, to just to make uh, the six hundred thousand plus the twenty five thousand in the offset and uh, go and hit exactly the position where the password is stored just like that you can see you can see the password and the only thing we must do is to write F's where the characters are present to delete the password That's uh, what I'm doing right now, and of course, uh, save the the edited password, the edited uh, BIOS file with no password. You can see I'm changing with S everything. And now it's uh, the time to save, save us. In the same folder with uh, some uh, identification in order to reflash the BIOS chip with that file, with this file I'm going to create right now. Okay, the password is removed, the BIOS has been file is saved, so we're going to program the BIOS chip with uh, the new BIOS file. Okay, we're going in multiple speed, we have chosen the Unpass file, and we are programming, I guess, as you can see, the, the BIOS chip. After the verification, the verification is completed, we will uh, solder the BIOS chip back and check what uh, we have accomplished. Okay, now we're back uh, to our microscope view. We will solder the BIOS chip back. The BIOS chip is soldered. 
and we will uh, plug everything back and we will try to power on the notebook just to see what we have done the battery is back okay and now we will power on the notebook it's on it is training of course we have because we have uh, changed the bios it's turning on and off and after that we will have a splash screen which is late ah there it is and it is booting to the OS you can see it it's not asking for password anymore I think we're okay we're good to go the BIOS, uh, res the BIOS reset uh, was successful and our customer will be very pleased That was the repair as you saw. If you liked this video, consider like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. See you in another repair.